what was the toughest debate or best argument against Christianity that you have, you've been involved with? Well, those are actually two different questions because the toughest debates may not be the debates in which the best arguments are offered, but in which mm -hmm. the opponent is effective in emotionally connecting with the audience. Uh, for example, I had a debate with Corey Washington years ago, um, and it was going swimmingly uh, for me right up until the rebuttals. And then in the rebuttal phase, he simply read a description of a man dying from the Ebola virus and blood gushing out of his ears, his mouth, his anus, every orifice in his body. And then he said to the audience, couldn't God have made this guy suffer just a little less? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I could give my intellectual responses to the problem of evil, but the emotional impact of that was so incredible, I, I think it just couldn't be overcome. So, oddly enough, sometimes the toughest debates will not be the intellectual ones, it'll be the ones where the speaker uses rhetoric and emotional stories mm -hmm. to try to move the audience to his side. Uh, in terms of the arguments, I, I think probably the best debate I had was with Doug Jessup, who was a professor of philosophy at the University of North Carolina. And I believe a transcript of that debate is on our website. He was a very responsible uh, philosopher. He had prepared responses, multiple responses, for every one of the five arguments that I gave. And afterwards, when I said to him, you're really a good debater, he said to me, thanks, I was on our university debate team. <laughs> Both the philosophical and the debate training, and therefore I think was the most formidable uh, opponent that I've ever faced.